Not long ago, I showed you how you can make this cute little reindeer on the bonsai. If you have not seen that video, I will put it at the end of this video. Well, today we're going to do something similar. Today we will be making some cute little doggies. Now, these dogs are so adorable and so, so easy to make. They would make great gifts for the little ones. They will make a great decoration on your bookshelf. And also you can sell them and actually make some money because it takes very little time to make one of them and very little amount of wood. So it's really easy to make. You can crank these guys a whole bunch of them in one day. I'm going to show you exactly how you do it step by step. I mean, look how cute it is. Let me get out of the frame. I mean, this guy is adorable. And uh, hopefully you will make your own dogs. So let's get right into it and show you how it's done. Now for the pattern, I will be using this pattern I found on Etsy and it comes from a shop named, let's see, Kingston Lane Workshop. This is what the pattern looks like. There's the store on Etsy and I am not associated with this store. I do not know these people. I just thought their pattern was very cute and you know, why not give it a try? Now what I need to do is cut uh, my pattern and then attach it to my blanks. So let's do that now. Now for the wood I'll be using for this video is this Spanish oak uh, scrap piece. This is one of those uh, pieces that came in that unboxing of exotic wood 60 pounds that I unboxed. And it's a perfect size for this pattern. And then this other one, because you know, life is more fun when you are with a friend. I'm going to make him a little friend and this one is um, I laminated three pieces of scrap wood. They are a uh, hard pine, those two pieces on the outside that I left over from a small uh, side table that I made. And then I'm not sure why this one is in the middle, it's some other scrap piece of wood that, you know, I had in my scrap pile. So they will make two of them and we'll see which one ends up cuter. Now, when it comes to spray adhesive to attach the pattern to the wood blank, not all spray adhesive are created equal. In the past, I've always used this one and it works all right. But recently, I started using this one over here. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. And this one works really, really well. So I really recommend this one. For the Bensa, I will be using my Harvey C14. I absolutely love my Bensa. I will, I'm planning on making a review on it but um, I still want to use it a little bit more. I had it since May now. And uh, I have set up on my Bensa a 316 blade. You can totally do this with quarter inch, but I already have a 316 in there, so that's what I'll be using. And uh, when I'll be cutting this, I start with the cuts on the narrow side. I'll make these cuts first, then I'll have to tape my blank back together, and then we'll cut this side. But before I'll start making any cuts, I will or I'll probably cut this extra part over here just to not be in the way and have a really tall blank. So I'll cut this part first, then I'll start working on my little dog. So now I need to glue my pieces back together. Uh, that way I'll have a lot more stability to cut the other side. So let's see, I don't really need that piece. Just these pieces. Thank you. 
our little dogs are very very cute so far this is what we have and uh, now I am going to do a combination of uh, hand sanding and a Dremel sanding. I love using my Dremel. This is the Dremel 4000 with the attachment. And uh, I'll put this in the description below if you want to purchase the same thing. And I have all kinds of sanding accessories over here that I can use and get on all those tight little places. So I'll be doing the sanding and then I'll see you for the, you know, applying the finish and see what our dogs look like. Now here are our doggies so far. I think they look super duper cute. This one looks a little bit better than this one because this one I was not so perfect with sending. It was a lot harder to send. This one was a lot easier since it was pine. It was really soft. But um, anyway, good enough for me. It's not like I'm selling this or anything like that. And uh, for the finish, I will be applying Osmo. I love Osmo because you cannot screw it out. It's so easy. You just wipe on, wipe off, and you're done. So let's go do that right now. And this is what our dogs look like all finished. I think they are super, super cute, especially this one that we glued from different, uh, you know, just scrap wood. Um, I think it's super, super cute. Look at that. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.